So let's cover rogue rotation. So this is for people that want to know, so no, what should my opener rotation be? What should I be prioritizing? When should be I be popping cooldowns? What should I be doing uh, with my procs and timing and openers? How many sinister strikes should I open with? When should I do slice and dice? All that sort of good stuff. We're going to cover some basic rotations you can do on your rogue. That'll get you kind of like 90% of the way there to having that ideal rogue rotation. So let's hop into my favorite uh, rotation practice spot, Da Mao North, and I'll show you some rotations. All right, so first, if you want to watch the rotation and the timings on my cooldowns, all the things I pop are going to appear right here where my mouse cursor is. So for example, when I do slice and dice, it's going to appear right here in the middle, so you can follow along. Uh, if you want any of my UI elements, it's all always on the Patreon, like always. So I appreciate all you guys that support me on Patreon. It allows me to make these videos. And uh, in return, you guys get all my UI templates, my weak auras, and anything else you see on my UI, basically. Okay, so first I'm going to cover kind of your basic rotation or what you want to be doing, like the abilities. Then we're going to cover um, some recovery things towards the end and, and expose armor breakpoints because uh, sometimes bad things happen, but that you can reset your rotation. So I'll show you how to kind of reset your rotation if you get into like a really bad scenario, which is usually where your slice and dice and expose are running out close together and you can't get both back up with a good rotation. So if that ever happens, I'll show you how to kind of reset your rotation and fix it. But uh, yeah, this is your basic priority. So as a rogue, you always want to open with some sort of slice and dice. So that's usually a one or two point slice and dice into a five point exposed armor, always five point exposed armor, never less than that because then you're just griefing, into usually a slice and dice refresh and then from that point onwards, any extra energy you have can be spent on ruptures. And the key point here is that as soon as exposed armor goes up, it should never, ever, ever drop. Do not let exposed armor drop. You can get slice and dice dropping. That's not ideal, but it's better than exposed armor dropping. And never greed to try to get in an extra rupture if it means that slice and dice or exposed armor is going to drop. Your priority is always slice and dice and expose up at all times, preferably you get to a point where you, you're going five point slice and dices and five point expose armors so that uh, you have just this nice rotation going. But uh, the big mistake I see a lot of rogues doing is their rotation is they try to greed in random ruptures and then they go into this weird thing where, oh no, now my slice and dice is falling off. I, I got to quickly try to get that back up. But if I do that, then exposed armor is going to drop. And basically the, the moment you greed a rupture is usually when you ruin the rotation. So yeah, just be careful about that. And, and in my opinion, I like to keep my Thistle T here as an emergency, oh, oh no, I got greedy. Now I have to use this Thistle T um, scenario where uh, I need to save my rotation. But it's up to you how you use your Thistle T. I like to use Thistle T as kind of like an emergency. I, I messed up button. So with your rotation, the thing to keep in mind is that I see a lot of rogues running in like this and then they, they as soon as they're running in, they're already popping the uh, Adrenaline Rush Blade Flurry, they're popping the pots and everything. You don't actually want to do this. D don't be running in and popping your cooldowns right away. Ideally, you wait until you have Slice and Dice up first at the least. And this is because um, you see all these things like your, your Mongoose on your weapons, your, your DSTs, your Warp Spring Calls, your 2 Minute Trinkets for example, your, you might even be using the Hydro rep ring with a proc you want some of those things to be up and running and the boss to be debuffed as well before you start popping your cooldowns ideally right now i know that you've got so many random procs that they can't all line up and especially with heroism slash bloodlust as well like not everything's going to be perfectly lined up but you can try to at least get a good amount of them lined up or a, a mongoose lined up or your warp spring and dst lined up and the reason you usually want to wait and blow your two minute cooldowns or your five minute cooldowns and, or any of your cooldowns until after the slice and dice is it's usually a good timing window because when you go in to engage the, the boss like this, you don't have uh, any of your internal cooldowns running yet usually. Uh, hopefully, at least you don't have them running. So your DST and your warp spring is going to pro proc really quickly. Um, hopefully you get a mongoose up. Uh, usually if your guild is lusting early on, it's um, a pretty decent chance you get a mongoose really early as well. So yeah, um, that's why you don't want to pop your cooldowns as you're running in. Now the rotation I'm about to show you, which is 2 point slice and dice into 5 point expose, into 5 point slice and dice, into a mini rupture, into the rest of the rotation, is a rotation that works really well if you're using Adrenaline Rush really early on. 
If you're not, it can be a bit scuffed. But um, if you're using Adrenaline Rush really early on, and your two mate cooldowns are early on, and your guild is lusting at this, that starting time zone as well, uh, it works really well because it lets you get, I find, to that really nice five point slice and dice after the five point expose. Um, and, and in times when sometimes when I've done one point slice and dice, it, it hasn't quite reached reach that mark that I like to go for. So that's why I like to open with a two point slice and dice. But this is all under the assumption that I am uh, using Adrenaline Rush fairly early on, okay? So keep that in mind. And also keep in mind that this is for the average guild. I'm kind of assuming you're in that two to three minute kill time mark, which is what a lot of guilds are in. And that's why um, a lot of guilds are burning those cooldowns really early is because they want to get the two minute cooldowns in so they get another set of two minute cooldowns in towards the end of the fight, right? So if a fight's like two minutes, 30 seconds, they, they burn it early on, two minute cooldowns and they come back up for a second set towards the end of the fight. Now, now keep in mind, for this rotation I'm doing and I'm about to show you, I don't have Lust going. It might get a little bit scuffed in that the Slice and Dice might drop off for a split second or like I, I might be a little bit short on energy, but just assume that if I had Lust going, that I'd have that little bit of more energy uh, and that there wouldn't be a gap, okay? Okay, so we're gonna run in. So this is the mob. So let's say we pull, we run in. I do two point Slice and Dice into full cooldowns usually. So we've got Adrenaline Rush going here. So now we're building up towards our five point uh, expose. Five point expose. Into a five point slice and dice. And usually at this point, I'm looking for how, how many rupture points can I get? So we're gonna do, I'm gonna do two points. Normally I get a little bit more if I had all my cooldowns going at the same time, like haste pot and lust and such. So now you can see I'm going to get a nice uh, five point expose here, right? So uh, I'm already into my ideal rotation here. I'm holding energy for a second. So I'm in that perfect rotation now where it's just five point expose, five point slice and dice, bad things aren't happening. And we're really comfy, right? And even here, I can maybe fit in a little bit greedy. I fit in a little bit of a rupture, but I should still be able to get back to that five point expose before it sets in see so here i'm just in the rest of my rotation which is just maintaining this rotation so when you're maintaining a rotation you're basically looking at your exposed armor uh, timing yeah so every time my exposed armor gets into that 18 second or less mark that's when you need to think about dumping your combo points or, and getting fresh combo points for another set so you can see I, I'm in that perfect rotation and I still have my Thistle T. Anytime I'm in trouble or I think I'm not going to get energy in time to, to get to that 5 point, I can always pop my Thistle T, right? So you can see once you're in that 5 point, 5 point mark with these two, you're pretty much good. You're pretty much good. You can't, you can't mess it up from that point because it's really easy to maintain 5 point Slice and Dice and 5 point uh, Expose. Now you see the thing I'm doing here is I'm holding energy when I can. Just a little bit. You don't have to do this, but um, if I'm low on energy and I see I can pull that energy for a little bit so that I get a more ideal timing window for when I refresh, uh, that's a good mark. Just don't, try not to be greedy. Sometimes you get greedy and you, you waste that energy, right? Okay, so at this point you might be saying, hey Snow, um, okay, I'm on my five point slice and dice on and five point expose armor rotation. What do I do now? Do, do I ever get to rupture? And the answer is unless you get a whole bunch of good energy procs, which can happen and will happen from time to time, uh, you don't rupture. But you can look out for it by looking at how much energy you have after every exposed armor, usually, right? So here I'm gonna refresh my slice and dice. Okay, full slice and dice. Okay, how much energy do will I have after this uh, expose? Probably not gonna be a lot because uh, I'm just gonna barely get this expose in time, it looks like. Alright, okay, so the barely get exposed up. Uh, I'm low energy and then slice and dice is less than 17 seconds, which means uh, uh, it's probably not a good time to fit in a two point rupture. So basically, you can fit in a rupture anytime you have a lot of energy after an expose and your slice and dice isn't in danger of falling off. But uh, a lot of times, unless you get a lot of procs or you have a second lust going or something, you're not really going to get a lot of opportunities to, to do a rupture without being really risky. So I'll show you what happens if you do the risky rupture. And this is why you don't you do not do the rupture normally, right? So after this expose, I'm gonna try fit in like a two point rupture, right? So we're gonna expose here. 
So I'm pulling energy because I can for a little bit. Okay. Okay. So we do two point rupture. So I managed to fit this in, but you can see now I'm, I might not get to the five point slice and dice, which can kind of scuff up my rotation. But I, I think this time I'm just barely going to get there. Yeah, you're barely going to get there. But now you can see my, my exposed armor rotation is a lot closer. It's not like as carefree anymore. But I did manage to just barely fit in that uh, rupture. So yeah, that's basically how it works. Okay, so now let's, uh, I'll try to show you what happens, uh, what you should do if you're in, a, in trouble with your rotation, right? So let's say, I'm trying to purposely mess up my rotation right now. It's actually harder than it seems. Okay, okay. see, see now this is bad, right? Because my slice and dice and expose armor is going to run out at, at the same time because I purposely messed up the rotation. So wh what do I do now? Well, you just have to refresh early, your expose. And then usually at this point, I would blow my thistle tea as well. All right, so I blow my thistle tea. I get back into that five point expose, five point slice and dice, five point expose, five point slice and dice. So anytime you get into trouble, that's usually when you want to refresh your expose early, pop uh, pop a thistle tea and try to get back into five point slice and dice, five point expose, five point slice and dice, five point expose. And th that's when you're, you're in very comfy territory, basically. Okay, now let's do an example where I don't uh, pop Adrenaline Rush on the opener. So in that case, let, let's do a very standard opener, which is one point slice and dice, the five point expose into slice and dice refresh. All right, so that's one point slice and dice to a five point expose. Really good proc set on that one, actually. Expose, so we get a two point uh, slice and dice refresh here. At this point, I'm just watching my cooldowns, right? I'm watching my, my exposed armor timing. So my exposed armor, perfect, is going to line up really nicely here. So I can do a five point slice and dice here into a five point expose. Should let me do that. So we go five point expose here. And you can see now we're on a good, good mark, right? So as soon as you get kind of like the back to back five points, you're usually in a good situation. It's actually very hard to mess up from that point. So now we're, we're into the ideal rotation. We have five point slice and dice and five point expose running at the same time. All right. Okay, now the last thing I want to talk about for your basics is expose armor point of no return. So this is just something you need to keep in mind at all times. If you're doing your normal five point slice and dice, five point expose, rotation where you're doing those back to back you, you're probably not going to run into this issue but sometimes if you get greedy trying to fit an extra rupture or something else goes weird with mechanics or whatever it is your point of no return is that when exposed armor drops below 17 18 ish seconds that's when you need to be thinking about spending your current combo points and then pulling back another five combo points to re-expose so basically if exposed armor drops below uh that 17, 18 second mark, you start getting very close to not being able to get it back up again in time if you don't spend all your energy from that point onwards towards building another set of five combo points. So for example, let's say I'm just doing this right now. I'm building combo points, whatever. And I see, oh no, it's below 17 seconds. Okay, I need to spend the combo points. And we need to start building again. That five combo points for exposed armor. And it's very important your exposed armor never drops. So that's very, very important to never let it drop like that. All right, so we got it back in time. Right, so let's say, for example, so I'll let this uh, refresh, let's refresh this. All right, let's say I'm not paying attention to that 17, 18 second-ish mark, right? And I'm just doing whatever, I'm, uh, I don't know, I'm doing a little rupture here. Uh, I'm building up, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna build up a five point slice and dice, right? So I let expose armor drop to 14 seconds and then I spend my energy here. But now, now it's risky. Now I still might make it if I get a lot of procs or if I thistle tea to save myself or something else. But now I'm entering the mark where it's, it's, it's very risky whether I can get it back in time. I'm just barely gonna get it back in time, but that's like because I got some energy props, right? So anytime you drop below that 17, 18 second ish mark, that's when you start entering the danger point. Now you can go below that if you wanna play risky, but I would never go below that if I don't have Thistle Tea or something to save me. You still have a fairly good percentage chance of making it at say like, 14, 15 seconds, there's a decent percentage chance that you'll be able to use all the energy to get five combo points again. But because like letting exposed armor drop for more than a few seconds is really, really bad. It's just something you can't risk if you're trying to be a good rogue. 
All right. So again, we, I can show you if we if we're dropping below that uh, that 17, 18 second mark. So let's see what happens. Uh, I'm not paying attention. I'm just uh, thinking, oh, I'm gonna try fit in a nice nice big rupture here, right? So let's see. Can I get that nice big rupture? Let's go rupture at, at 13 seconds. So now this is a risky area. If I don't get energy procs now, I'm going to be screwed, right? So I, I gotta hope I get energy procs. Not enough energy procs means I don't get any time, right? So this time, not quite. I'm a little bit short. And then expose armor drops for a few seconds, and now I'm a bad rogue because my expose armor uptime sucks now. Now again, if you're using my UI, you, you uh, do have this glowy border. It's something I set up to kind of as a warning. Below 20 seconds, this weak aura will uh, start having a, gl a glowy checkered uh, border around it, right? So you can see once it drops below 20 seconds, it's kind of to, to just like draw your attention to be like, hey man, uh, you're below 20 seconds, you need to be thinking about what you're going to do with your combo points now. So I'm going to quickly use my combo points and start building back up again, right? So uh, yeah, if you're using my uh, weak aura, it does warn you, but you should still always try to be aware of, of when your exposed armor is reaching that point. Okay, so that was your kind of one-on-one to rogue rotations. Now, it can get a lot more complicated than that, but uh, if you do those basics, that'll get you like a 9 out of 10 for most rogues. Uh, you're going to be good, uh, is what I'm saying. No guild's going to complain because you're doing those specific rotations. So yeah, I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you want to help support these videos, support my content, uh, they don't do too well on YouTube because these aren't like super... Uh, <laughs> Uh, hot topics. I don't do clickbait topics a lot of times. So help support these videos by going to Patreon below. You can click there. Uh, you get uh, all my UI stuff, all my weak aura stuff, uh, and you help support these videos. So thank you to all of these people for helping support. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.